Okay, YouTube, here I am back again um, to talk a little bit more about the COVID-19 or coronavirus. Um, since I talked to you yesterday, um, I gave you the stats that were updated at 5.30 in the morning yesterday. Well, from then till today, I'm making this video... Four more people in Washington State have died. That's unbelievable. Um, that means six people total have died in in Washington State from this virus. I don't know how many people are infected, and maybe I should have tried to find that out before I made this video, but I don't know how many people are infected in Washington State or what they're saying. But that, that to me is amazing. Four people died overnight? Man, come on. You know, they've got two more people in Chicago, Cook County, that have the virus now. And from what I understand, they're in their 70s. It's a man and a wife, a husband and wife. Um... They, they have it. The, the, the lady is at the house. She's under quarantine at her house. And uh, her husband is in, I don't know if it's intensive care or it's in the quarantine thing at the hospital. But they're both, from what I understand, doing fine. Um, but that kind of worries me, and I'll explain why. See, because where I live in a small town... Uh, west of Chicago, there's a big lake. It's called Lake Carroll. Where, and people in Chicago or from Chicago, they like to buy up property around my town. And they like to vacation out around my town. So, see, and this worries me for, for one simple reason. That if they're going to have more cases in Chicago, because now they can test it for better in Chicago. They've, they've, they've got the resources and I think they got the test kits. Um, so if that happens and they, they start to shut that uh, schools down and stuff, what worries me is these people that are stuck in, in the suburbs and stuff are going to start to freak out. They're gonna, Look, we got to get out of Chicago. Where do we go? Oh, we own a $500,000 house out at Lake Carroll. Let's go there. You know? And so this is what bothers me is we got this small town that I live in and the next town over, which is Lanark, um, and they're both small towns, but we might, ne not, might not necessarily have a problem with the, the virus, but now you're getting all these people coming out of Chicago. Who's to say they're not going to bring the virus with them? You know, so now a town that would otherwise not be infected is going to get infected because these people that are in Chicago, they're going to freak out and try to get away from it. You know, so that's why I'm trying to say we can't, we can't freak out. We can't go nuts over this. We got to act calmly and rationally and we got to try to take care of our families, but not at the expense of other people's families. So, Maybe I'm saying that a little bit wrong. Maybe maybe I should word that a different way. But with that being said, I called the school where my grandkids go to school. And uh, they've got no plan. You know, they said, well, just make sure the kids wash their hands. And if they sneeze or cough, they cover it. My granddaughter's seven years old, okay? She coughs all over the freaking place. And she doesn't try to cover it up. You know, not to mention she goes to school. Them other kids, they're not washing their hands and stuff like that. I, you know, I'm not expecting them to close the school down right now, but I am expecting them to have a better plan than, hey, just make sure the kids wash their hands and cover their mouths. You know, you've got to have something else in place. So if this does spread and get worse, you know, somebody's got to have a plan in order to keep going. And to me, just talking between hospitals and, and the schools in my area, they've got no plan. And that is, it, it's not helpful. You know, you call up, you ask questions. You know, 
they can't tell you anything. That 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 bothers me. Uh, you know, maybe I'm the only one that would bother, but it, it does bother me that they don't have a plan in place. You know, the superintendent that I talked to, he said that he's just going off of, you know, what he gets told to do, and and that's about it. He said something along the lines, you know, that there hasn't been any cases in the schools yet, or any. My thing is, is if you haven't closed the schools down until there's a case in the school, it's already too late. Because for that kid to show up positive with the virus, he's had to have walked around that school for, you know, a good 14 days. And at that point, how many other kids is he infected? You know, that's what's ridiculous. You can't wait till cases pop up in the school you know but that's what he told me that that just blows my mind so I guess once again I did check Madison again because somebody said that there was like another eight cases in Madison but I can't find anything like that but then again Madison isn't testing anybody you know I guess they've tested I don't know. I can't say they didn't have been tested anybody. I think they've tested like 200 people. You you only test 200 people. What? Really? You know why aren't we testing more people? I I do know we couldn't do the testing because we didn't have the kits to do it. But now everybody's saying that that we do. That the CDC got these test kits out, and we've got them. So. Why can't we get out there and test more people? I, I just don't understand this. You know, people are dying in Washington Washington State. We didn't even know it was there until the first person died. You know, now they know it's there. Six people have died. And it's only been a couple of days. This is the problem. People aren't being informed. People are not finding out where these viruses are you know we know they're in cook county in 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 my state it's in cook county it's in chicago go figure chicago chicago ruined the whole state but you know how many more cases are in chicago these are my questions nobody tells you you know you, i listened to the governor talk and he was saying they've got the test kits and everything, and they were planning on opening up uh, a couple of more test centers, one in the center of the state and one in the southern part of the state. He, he said that they've been able to test around Chicago since the beginning. So how many people have they tested? These are the things they need to start telling us. You know, like I said, as I learn more information, I'll make another video like and share these things, you know, so it gets out to people. Um, other than that, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.